Hey guys, it's Deb here with Creative Life. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my crafty channel. And thank you all for the love and support that you show me every single time and for taking time out of your day to be here with me. So y'all, we did the hashtag shop your stash monster mash and it was so much fun you guys okay so of course i'm sharing the tutorial with you after i already debuted what i made okay but um to share with you what i used i used this welcome sign from uh the, the dollar tree okay and when they have these these are like a um i forget what kind of board they call it um but they're they're just the the signs right that they have there for a dollar i usually buy a few of these because i really like using them for other projects okay and i used them last year to make halloween uh, signs but i painted the back and did a mummy and um, i did a ghost and what else did i do I can't remember what else I did. <laughs> I did three of them, <laughs> a Frankenstein, and they turned out so stinking cute, you guys. So I'll go ahead and put that link down below for you so you can check that out. They were super cute and easy to make, too. So the other thing I used to create this project was I used um, some stencils from A Colorful Life Designs, and you all, they have the cutest... Uh, stencils and they have really nice stuff so um, I would go ahead and put the link down below for you guys to go to their store and check them out as well so um, these are and you've already seen the sign so you guys know that I used this tree for my background okay I used this monster uh, stencil okay and then um, I bought this spider and I didn't use the spider on the plaque but it is super, I love it. So I'm gonna use it on a card or something later. Um, I used the cauldron on here and I love this because it has steam, it's got little fire, it's got bubbles and then larger bubbles, uh, like boiling bubbles here and uh, some fire here. And you can put, like do these first and then put these over it. So I thought that was super cool. And so um, here is the plaque that I created, you guys. And I know I had a really good response to this and I really enjoyed reading everybody's comments. Um, y'all, um, my favorite one was, my favorite one was uh, that everybody loved the little monster peeking out of the cauldron and everyone liked the eyes from the pumpkins and so i thought that was um pretty pretty neat i'm glad that you guys really enjoyed it but today i'm sharing the tutorial with you so i uh, without further ado let's go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and share the tutorial with you okay to start i went ahead and turned that plaque wall hanging over and then what I did is I took my stencils and I kind of just laid them out where I wanted everything and then I drew where I wanted stuff just so I could get a mental picture of how I wanted my layout to be. I didn't end up using the spider because I ended up um, making more trees on the plaque instead which I loved those trees and so uh, yeah so I just went ahead and I scooted the stencil over so I could like I said so I could get a mental picture of how and where I wanted everything before I cut the plaque down. Okay, so next I just took my ruler and I decided where I wanted to cut it. And I uh, went ahead and the measurement is about eight and one eighths down from the top of the frame or from the top of the wall hanging. <laughs> Okay, so after you cut your board, you'll notice that you have some roughness around the bottom part and just take a fingernail file and file uh, around the front and the back and the sides a little bit until it's kind of a little bit smooth and that's it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and prepare our board and we're going to use clear gesso for this. If you have the white gesso, you can also use that. I actually did two coats of the clear gesso on the board, okay, and this is just preparing it for all of the paint and everything that we're going to be putting on top of it. Okay. 
Okay, so after your uh, gesso has dried, you're gonna go ahead and use um, some Distress Paint, the Seedless Preserves. Now, what I did is I just went ahead and placed it down on my glass mat and I added some water and then I started painting and it really didn't, it wasn't the purple that I was hoping for. So I went ahead and grabbed my shimmers and placed those on top of the seedless preserves and I really liked how it looked so I used both combinations throughout the plaque I put uh, the seedless preserves and then I used the I rest my case and then I also used some of the tickle me turquoise <laughs> just kept on going down the plaque uh, till I reached the desired look that I was uh, looking for and then I went ahead and I squirted some water on top of it once um, I got to a, a certain point and then I just kind of blended everything together and I really liked how this background was looking so I just left it like that Okay, you guys, here's your tip for the day. If you're like me and you don't do mixed media all the time, but you do use them occasionally, you don't want them to dry out. So I would highly suggest you get some press and seal, the three in one, okay? It is awesome to for keeping your inks and your paste and stuff like that. Um, pliable so um yeah so you, you definitely want to get some of this i just learned about this and i am so glad that i bought some because it has helped tremendously next we're just going to go ahead and i'm going to air dry this a little bit with the heat gun uh just to kind of help it along to dry a little faster Okay, y'all, so I thought I had the camera rolling, but I didn't, and I apologize. So here I did three trees, and I used the um, Distress Black Soot ink. I did one really dark up front. And the one in the back, I did a lighter color because of the, you know, I wanted it to kind of look like a fog. And then the other one off to the left-hand side, I did like medium. Um, and I used the cream or this is what I'm going to be using for the cauldron is the Stamperia cream paste okay I just got this and I've heard that it's really nice to work with so I decided to go ahead and use it and I do like it it's just very creamy you guys so <laughs> um, yeah so it's very very creamy I do like it here I went ahead and just went over about a quarter of an inch with the cauldron stencil and then filled it in with my fingers and then I got a little bit messy so um, I'm gonna be grabbing a napkin here pretty soon so now I'm just wiping up the mess <laughs> and then um, I went ahead and just kind of like filled it in with my finger kind of you know made some uh, of the like a cauldron ridges you know how like a, a pot has like kind of like you know it's not perfect so it just has like little bumps and stuff on it so I went ahead and did that with my finger and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in with the little shish kebab stick because it has like a point at the end and I'm gonna fill in the bottom legs and also kind of clean up around the cauldron area with that. And um, yeah, so that way the legs are a little bit thicker. <laughs> Okay, so to create the little monster, what I did is I used Distress Paint Mode Lawn. I used Nouveau, uh, the, sh the Glimmer Paste, okay? And then I also mixed in some textured paste. And I just kind of mixed all of those up. I wanted the Glimmer Paste from the Nouveau because I wanted the monster a little bit glittery, but he was, he didn't turn out very glittery, and um, which is fine. So I just left him as he, he was, <laughs> and so. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just mixed all those together real good and then we're gonna go ahead and place uh, the paste on the monster. Okay, so I went ahead and placed my paste on the little monster and I have to confess it didn't turn out like I wanted the first time. So I went ahead and, and you'll see here in a minute, he just kind of looks really wonky. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I went ahead and just grabbed a napkin and removed him and I started over again. So I went ahead and went back in, uh, cleaned off the stencil a little bit there, and then I went ahead and went back in with the stencil and redid him. So uh, I'll show you here in just a bit. So I placed him on there, made sure he was good, and then this time, instead of using my little spatula, I just used my fingers, and then I didn't place anything around in his eye eyeball area. <laughs> so I just went around him and came out with those little two little eyes right there, like are pointy. But I went back in with my finger and just kind of like tried to curve them out to make them round. That way we can put the googly eyes on him. Okay, so here I just wanted to go ahead and share with you all real quick how easy it is to clean these stencils. You just go ahead and spray some water on your stencil after you're done using it, and then go ahead and get your paper towel and just kind of rub it off and around everything until it's clean and super easy. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So I cut out this moon from the Wickedly Beautiful collection that I did the carousel in, and so I'm gonna go ahead and just stick this right here. I thought that would be a really cool um, addition to this, and then we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, place, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and place this here, okay? And then, um, I might go ahead and put like Happy Halloween or something up here. I don't know yet, but I'm going to go ahead and stick this down here like this. And then I have this googly eyes set that I bought from Amazon and I thought this would be like super fun for the monster. And they come in many different sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and I wanted to use some of these. I don't know if I just want regular googly eyes or if I want um, some of these. I thought these would be really cute. So let's go ahead and see. Um, they have purple. So I thought some purple eyes would be fun. So oh, that's a pink one. There's a purple one down there somewhere. I see it. There we go. I think that's a purple one and this one's a purple one. So okay, so here's this. And how fun is that, you guys? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick him like this, like that, stick that one like that, and then stick this one like that. Okay, so how cute is that, right? <laughs> Okay, and then we just have to paint our little cauldron here. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, I'm gonna fast forward through this part. these little tiny spiders and I'm going to glue these up here and then one down here. First we're going to go ahead and paint this and then I'm going to also add this happy Halloween that I cut out from a die that I have and I'm going to add another bat to the moon and then I might add these little cute little pumpkins right here. Um, they are in black so I thought those were pretty cute. So okay so you ready? Ah, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this part. <laughs>
the 3D lacquer on it and we're pretty much done. I'm just gonna let this dry. And if you wanted to, you could definitely go ahead and you can place some Mod Podge on top of it, you know, um, you know, in maybe before you add the spiders. But really, I don't think you need to. I think it's a great little wall hanging for, like I said, a bathroom or kitchen space. Uh, maybe a little doorway you have. Um, I just thought it was super cute and I love that cauldron and that little monster is so stinking cute, you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to put the links down below for where you get the stencils and yeah, so um, take a look at their store. You guys might find something you like. Cute. So um, thank you all so much for joining me and uh, happy Halloween, you guys. So take care. And again, uh, you don't want to forget to put the hashtag in the search bar when you are on YouTube for sh hashtag shop your stash monster mash. So again, I will put that title all over the place down below in my description box and above in my title. So thanks again. You guys take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>